Hi everyone, welcome to English for You. I'm Kat. I'm Shikling. And we are talking today about a certain place in the world which is very、uh, crowded. Crowded. Very crowded. Japan. And you, you think you think of Japan first, right? <laughs> right. I think of Hong Kong. Oh, you're right. But this is kind of like it's in Hong Kong, but it's not Hong Kong, or it wasn't Hong Kong. Okay. So, what's like one of the densest places you've lived in or been to? One of the most crowded、okay. places. The MRT station. <laughs> ah, which MRT station? <laughs> Maybe Zhongshan. Oh, for me it's Taipei Main Station. Oh yeah, Taipei、Always、Main Station is crazy. Always the worst. Always the worst. And it's、packed. so hard to find your way. But even that, like, you can walk around and stuff, right? right. Yeah, like there's plenty of room. Like it's it's not that uncomfortable. I think Taipei is pretty. It's it's. I think it's okay. It's crowded, but it's. It's okay,、mm, you know. You can、yeah. live with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This place is way more crowded than that.、Oh, way more crowded. Really curious now. Yeah, it's it's crazy to think about. So, I mean, I guess you could think of many places in the world that have big crowds, but this is sort of different.、Mm. So. We're gonna learn about this place, and it's got more than just crowds. It's just like kind of got this mysterious kind、Aww. of feeling to it. It doesn't exist anymore, but we're gonna learn about it. And I think it's one of the most interesting places、uh, that has been in a city. Wow!、Uh, in recent years. So、okay. let's go ahead and look at the article and learn more. Reading. Welcome to Kowloon Walled City, the world's most densely populated place. Next time you're in Hong Kong, take a trip to the Kowloon Walled City Park. Spend some time sitting and enjoying a little peace among Hong Kong's urban buzz. You can just watch the world go by. There's something that you're not likely to realize, though: the area where you're sitting. Was once the most densely populated place on Earth. The Kowloon Walled City was a surreal place. By the late 1980s, it housed over 30,000 people in an area that measured just 26,000 square meters. That's about the size of four soccer fields. You might start to imagine how the city looked. It was a mass of concrete. That was built up gradually without any real planning. People simply added parts on when they needed to. Inside, hundreds of small alleys served as streets that reached every corner on every floor. They were dark and wet. The city only had one mailman who had to wear a hat to protect himself from water drips. All right, so our article starts out today. Remember when I was talking about Hong Kong? Oh, this place is in Hong Kong. So next time you are in Hong Kong, take a trip to the Kowloon Walled City Park. Okay,、mm -hmm. have you ever been there? I have not been to Hong Kong. I'm not sure if I will go in any time in the near future. But if I go, I want to go to this. Park, mysterious park. It's a it's a park now. Okay. It didn't. Oh, it wasn't always a park. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, 呢，下次到香港的时候呢，不妨呢去九龙寨城公园一趟 For what? Hmm. You can relax. You know, <laughs> the same thing you do in any park. Okay. Spend some time sitting and enjoying a little. Peace among <laughs> Hong Kong's <laughs> urban buzz.、Uh, All right, so we've got our first vocabulary word right here, and our second one as well. But the first is urban.、Mm. So when something is urban, it's an adjective that means relating to cities, and it's about the people who live in cities、mm -hmm. and the spaces in cities. So if you're talking about urban life, you're talking about life in a city.、Mm. Urban culture. Usually, cities have a lot going on. They're very fast-paced.、Mm. They have lots of noise. Lots Of music, things、mm. like that. So, if you live in an urban neighborhood, you probably live in the middle of a city, like we do. Yeah. Yeah. And the opposite of this would be rural. If you're out in the countryside, you are in a rural area. You have a rural life. So, urban is about cities. Rural is about country. So, an example sentence: Judy had to get used to urban life after she moved from her small town to the country's biggest city. 所以 urban 呢就是城市的意思。所以如果我们讲到一个城市的发展，其实就是 urban development。那如果是城市的区域，就是 urban area。所以其实像 Taipei 就是 urban area 的概念。好，那我们再看另外一个句子。
on this map, urban areas are shown in gray. That、mm-hmm. uh, 在这个地图上面呢，啊、uh, ，这一个城市区域是灰色显示的。Hmm. So the place in Hong in Hong Kong, of course, it's very urban. Hong yeah, Kong yeah. is a big city. It's very crowded. There's lots of tall buildings. It has a lot of buzz about it. So let's learn what this second vocab word buzz means. In this sentence, we're talking about urban buzz. Now, when you hear the word buzz, either a noun or a verb, it usually talks about the sound of insects, like bees, when they're all buzzing, they're all making a low noise together, and it's like that's buzzing. But as a noun, buzz can also mean something else when we're talking about people or places. A buzz can mean a lot of activity, a lot of noise, a lot of excitement. So if some piece of news creates a lot of Buzz. It means people get excited about it. They're talking about it a lot. Urban buzz, you could say, is a lot of excitement that happens in the city because things are very fast-paced. They're very busy. It creates a big buzz. So, an example sentence: The buzz of shoppers, music, and beautiful items inside the store got me excited to do my Christmas shopping. 所以 buzz 就是有嘈杂声，对对，老师那种声音的感觉哎。<笑>那这个口语上呢，我们可以当很兴奋、很快乐的意思，就是比如说 ，My dad loves driving fast. It gives him a real buzz. 代表让他、mm. it makes him excited， 他觉得很开心。<笑>好，那这个字呢，也可以当动词。有一个片语就是 buzz off， 就是代表啊。Go away! Just <laughs> 滚开了 Buzz off! 对对对，收开了，好烦哦。I've got to buzz off. I have a big exam exam next week. 我必须走了，因为我下礼拜有很大考试。所以在香港呢，这个充满嘈杂声的环境里面呢，享受一点点的宁静，就可以到这个九龙寨城公园。Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of buzz happening in Hong Kong, of course, because it's a very busy city. But at this park, you can just kind of sit down and. Ah, <sighs> breathe. The article says you can just watch the world go by. Wow. This is a saying. The watch the watch the world go by is a saying that means you take some time to just kind of pause. You look at what's around you. You slow down. You have a relaxing time, and you just appreciate. The place you are in.、Mm. It's very nice to do in a park like this. 真的，所以如果你要静一下，我们这个 watch the world go by 这就是看着人来人往，就观察你周遭的感觉的环境那种感觉。嗯哼。The article says there's something that you're not likely to realize, though. 嗯，好好奇哦。但是呢，啊，你除了去看这一个人来人往啊，这个环境，不过有些事情你可能没有意识到哦。What is it? Well, you think about the fact that we were first talking about extremely crowded places. A park doesn't sound extremely crowded, does it? No. So there's something about this park that used to be different. Okay. The article says the area where you're sitting was once the most densely populated place on Earth. Oh, okay. Wow.、Mm. So dense. This word "dense" or "densely" as an adverb, it means crowded with people, or it's having parts that are really close together. So, like, let's say that you have like a bunch of flowers, and then all those flowers are put really close together in、uh. one pot. That's dense,、mm. so it's really hard to get through, right? But if you're talking about dense with people, it's usually populated.、Okay. So densely populated, and populated means living in a country or city, making up the population of that、yeah. place. Like how many people live there. So densely populated means there's many people living very close together,、mm. which、mm. is what cities are usually like. Okay, so this densely is densely. That teacher just mentioned that its adjective is dense. We remove the ly, it will become an adjective. So populated. 类的也是一样，它就是有人居住的，所以它的名词其实就是 population 人口。老师刚刚有提到，所以你现在在的位置哦，它其实以前是地球上曾经人口最密集的地方。嗯、mm-hmm. ，so it's it's hard to imagine what this is like. We're going to give you a number a little bit later, but first we kind of have to introduce what it is. It was the Kowloon Walled City. And the article says the Kowloon Walled City was a surreal place.、Mm. Surreal, surreal is this great adjective that is a combination of sub or sur, which means under, and then real. So surreal means kind of like a dream.、Mm. It's very strange. It's very unusual. You would walk in there and you'd be like, "This is 
weird. I feel weird、mm. being here. This is very strange. Like it doesn't feel real. Mm, yeah. Okay. So this word is very cool. It has this word surreal. Actually, it has a lot of real feeling. And I feel very surreal. So the Jiu Long Forest is actually a very surreal place. Hmm. So how surreal was it? How crowded was it? How surreal was it? How crowded was it? How densely populated was it? The article says by the late 1980s, it housed over 30,000 people in an area that measured just 26,000 square meters. That's less than a meter per person. 好夸张 ，That's insane， 非常夸张。对，所以一九八零年代的后期呢，它是差不多面积就两万六千平方米的这个区域，那总共容纳了多少人呢？大概三万人左右。That's a lot of people、oh, oh、in a really small place. Yeah, well, you got to think like it's not just on the ground too; it's also going up because、mm-hmm. it's a series of buildings. But to give you a little bit of、mm, something you can visualize, something you can see in your head,、mm. that's about the size of four soccer fields. If you ever watch a soccer game,、mm. picture that times four. That's how big it was.、Oh、my gosh, it's very small for a city. <laughs> yeah, very small. So a field, as you can probably tell, is a soccer field. Is an area of land that is used for sports, or just a big flat area with grass.、Mm-hmm. So sports that use fields could be soccer. Baseball uses a field. Football uses a field. I think that's like the biggest field in sports. Yeah. Rugby, field hockey uses a field. So any of those ones where they are played on a big, big piece of grass, that's called a field, a sports field. So an example sentence: The football teams ran onto the field and got ready for the first play of the game. Okay, so field 就是有运动场或者是比赛场的意思。那老师刚刚有提到很多球场不同，所以像老师刚刚有提到一个就是曲棍球的场地，其实就是 hockey field。你们可以这样子讲。那么 field 这个字除了当球场，它也可以当一个领域或者是一个范围的意思。比如说 ，many great discoveries have been made in the field of science， 代表是在自然的领域这一块。所以呢，我们这一次的，你知道这个大小大概是多大？大家可以想象一下，它就大概是四个足球场的大小而已。所以。哦 mm-hmm. So imagine four football fields with some buildings on top of them. That's how big it was. So the article says you might start to imagine how the city looked. It was a mass of concrete that was built up gradually without any real planning. It's true. If you look at、mm. photos of Kowloon、uh, among the rest of Hong Kong. It's just basically like buildings, 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 and then a square <laughs> of concrete that's very messy looking. And concrete is what you use for building sidewalks, what you use for building a lot of different buildings. It's that gray stuff that you like. It's first it's wet and then it's dry. It's hard. It's strong, and it's made by mixing up cement, which is like powdered rocks, and sand and broken rocks with water, and then it dries and it's really really hard. Yeah, and we have this. Phrase the concrete jungle.、Mm. Well, well, a jungle is like a really dense forest, right?、Mm-hmm. So the concrete jungle is like a really dense、okay. city. So like the buildings are trees around you. 嗯，哇，所以你们再看这个 concrete， concrete 就是混凝土的意思。所以你可能呢会开始想象这这个地方是长怎么样。所以呢，它你就把它想象成一团混凝土，然后在没有任何计划下的情况下就被建造起来了。So it's pretty interesting and yeah.、Uh, It's like you surreal. Said, yeah, surreal. Surreal for sure. <laughs> 那我们来看一下今天的 language in focus. 好，我们今天的 language in focus 要讲的是关系代名词的限定跟非限定用法。那大家应该都知道，关代有包含 who, whom, whose, which, that。那这些呢？我们知道冠代它兼具代名词跟连接词的作用，所以不止呢可以去代替前面出现的名词，也就是先行词这个部分，它也可以连接主要子句跟关系子句哦。那这个关系子句又称为形容词子句。那么冠代呢，我们又分为限定跟非限定。我们刚刚有讲，所以像限定的话呢，因为先行词不明确的状态，我们就必须呢以限定关系子句呢，呃，去限定、去限缩先行词这个东西。我们直接看一下句子就比较清楚。我们先看第一个句子 ：The brownies that you brought yesterday were delicious。那意思说你昨天带来的布朗尼超好吃的。那我们看一下非限定，所以啊、呃，我们来看一下非限定的部分，它就是因为先行词是明确的状态，我们就。不用再去限缩先行词指涉的对象。我们再看另外一个句子 ：The woman， 我们逗号 ，whom you mentioned， 再逗号 ，is a dancer。
，代表那个女人，你之前提到的那位，她是个舞者。那因为说话者跟听话的人彼此都知道是哪一个 woman whom you mentioned， 她只是来补充说明的 woman 而已，大概是这样的用法，大家可以练习一下。All right, so Kalun was very small, very dense, and、um, very unorganized. So it was called what they call a concrete jungle. So the article says people simply added parts on when they needed to. Basically, you know, oh, it's a building, but we need one more floor. Let's just add one more floor. Oh, we need one more floor again. Add one more. You know,、okay. something like that. So add something on means put more parts on top of ones that are already there. So like if you're writing a paper, if you、mm. add on to your paper, you write more to make it longer. Maybe you'll put some new words in there. Maybe you'll put a new sentence. That's adding on when you already have something, and so. Adding parts onto a city means building next to or building on top of existing buildings. Okay, so this phrase to add something on is in what things on top of things add on. So people, they are in need when they need to add on. Maybe they need one floor, they add one floor. Ah, need one floor, they add one floor. Okay, so it must look really messy. It did, yeah. It must have so, looked, yeah. Yeah. So the article says inside, inside Kowloon. Hundreds of small alleys served as streets that reached every corner on every floor. So sounds like a maze, honestly. Doesn't、mm. it sound like some place that would be very hard to find anything that's not your house? <laughs> yeah, or even maybe it'd be hard to find your house. Like、mm. if you move in there, good luck. Okay. But <laughs> that's because you have hundreds of small alleys.、Mm. An alley is a narrow street or passage that goes between buildings. Taipei has a lot of alleys.、Mm. Taipei and other cities in Taiwan. It's because Taiwan has very crowded cities, so there's many alleys, and usually alleys are so small that. Cars can't get through them. Maybe、mm. one car can get through them sometimes,、mm. but usually it's just scooters, bicycles, people who are walking.、Mm. Uh, alleys are just very small, and they're only for people to get into buildings or maybe park something like that. So, an example sentence: I have to walk through this small alley to get to the door of my house. 嗯，所以 alley 就是小巷的意思。那我们有一个片语叫做 up or down someone's alley， 指的就是你很喜欢这个东西。比如说， Have you listened to this new song? It's right up my alley. 我超爱的，很好听哦。Yeah, usually you'll tell somebody like, Oh, I have this new song, this new movie. I think it's right up your alley.、Mm. I think you'll really like it.、Mm. So these alleys, hundreds of them, served as places to go. So let's learn what serve as means. You might know the verb serve to talk about maybe starting a round of tennis or giving somebody food. That's serving. But when you have serve as, this phrasal verb means that something is used or seen in a certain way, or because it does something, it has a certain result or effect. So you could say it's not made to do that thing, but it can be used for that thing. And、one example is trees. Trees can serve as houses for some animals. They're not made for those animals, but they serve that function. They can be used for that thing. They can be used as houses. A room of your apartment can serve as an art studio. So those are some examples of things that serve as other things. And these alleyways serve as ways to get around in Kowloon. So an example sentence for serve as Mia's couch sometimes serves as a bed for her friends who come over to her home. Serve 这边指的就是用作什么用途，那尤其是非主要或是非限定的用途。所以这个 serve as something 就是可以用作为某物嘛。我们刚刚讲，那其实这个字有其他意思，像是有提供食物或饮料。比如说 ，Our breakfast is served between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. 那也有为谁工作为谁服务，比如说 Kenji served in the army for over twenty years。所以在内部的话呢，你可以看到数百条的小巷，它是作为街道去通往每层楼的每个角落。嗯哼 ，So there were hundreds of these alleys. They were very small. They were dark and wet. Ah,、uh, yeah, humid. Yep, probably smelled really bad. I know, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, 这很可怕。所以黑暗呐，又潮湿。嗯、mm、哼 -hmm. ，So I mean, you think about if there are buildings on top of buildings on top of buildings. Actually, it'll be really hard for the sun to get through.、Mm. So in some parts of Kowloon, it was dark all the time. Must have been moldy. Yeah, probably. And, you know, Hong Kong is kind of humid, like、mm. Taiwan.、Mm. So yeah, could be hard to clean. <laughs> 
And here's an even more amazing fact: the city only had one mailman. What the? One mailman for thirty thousand people who had to wear a hat. To protect himself from water drips, that poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> so a drip. He had to protect himself from water drips by wearing a hat. A drip is a drop of liquid that falls from something. Probably in those alleys, it would fall from water pipes. It might fall from the air conditioners in、yeah. apartments. I see drips from air conditioning units in Taipei all the time. You walk down the sidewalk, you see like a wet piece of sidewalk, and you look up, and there's an AC above you, and it's dripping water. So yeah. There's drips from air conditioning places, drips from water pipes, all sorts of things. Now, as the verb, it's an action of water dropping in small amounts. So, like if you could say the sink is dripping, someone is dripping wet after a shower. It's different from a drop or a raindrop because those fall from the sky. A drip has to fall from something.、Mm -hmm. So, an example sentence: A drip of water fell on Jason's head as he walked home after the rainstorm. <laughs> <笑>所以这个 drip 就是有滴下来，这边是当名词的意思，就滴下来的液体水滴。那嗯， um, 如果是汗水，就是 drips 呃、uh, drips of sweat 也是可以。<笑>好好，就像我们现在啊、oh, ，it's so hot in here. OK， 所以这个 drip 可以当动词哦，当动词就是滴下来。So 比如说 ，the water is dripping down the wall. 哦，哎，所以在那个时候呢，城市只有一个 mailman， 就是只有一个邮递员，而且他必须戴上帽子，才不会被水滴到。所以看有多潮湿就好了。Yeah, I think I'll just wear like a bike helmet and just punk on my bike helmet, and then you know my head stays dry. Yeah, sounds yeah. not too fun. Cute. So that's the first day of the article on Kowloon. We still have more to learn about this very small but very crowded city,、mm. and we're going to learn it in day two. We're going to find out what happened to it because now it's a park, right? So we want to know what happened to Kowloon Walled City. Well, in day two, we're going to find out. But for today, that's the end of day one. That means it's time for us to go to our for you chat. For you chat. All right. So our for you chat question for today: What do you think it was like to live in Kowloon Walled City? Imagine it.、Mm, since it was dark,、mm -hmm. it was humid, it was crowded. I think it must have been unpleasant. Hmm. Yeah, but it could、it's, be interesting because it it's, could be.、Mm. Like, what do you think you would have、uh, friendships with your neighbors? Maybe? Probably. Maybe you and your neighbors would know each、but、other very I, well. But I don't think we would. I don't think we would have like privacy. Yeah. Everybody true. So everybody、close. can hear each other. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you're on like the upper floors, if you get some sunshine, it could be weird because you think about everything below you,、oh. and it's like. How do I get out of this building?、Mm. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, it might be interesting. I think I wouldn't want to live there. I think I'd want to、mm. go there for a day. Yeah, just to experience it. I probably, I, I can't imagine the smell. <laughs> it must stink. It must smell horrible, and so many insects. And oh my god,、oh, yeah. I can't. Even, I can't. Even, okay, <laughs> maybe I don't want to live there. <laughs> But maybe you guys want to live there. Maybe you have a different idea about Kowloon Walled City. Yeah, we're gonna learn more about it tomorrow. But for day one, that's all we have. So we're gonna say goodbye now for English for you. I'm Kat. I'm See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Vocabulary review. Urban. Jason likes living in an urban environment because there are always many things to see and do. Buzz. The night market is a great place to visit to feel the buzz of Taipei. Field. The soccer player took the ball and ran the entire length of the field to score a goal. Alley. Jennifer likes to spend time exploring the city's small alleys with her camera. Serve. Dave's table broke, so he used some wood to serve as his table until he bought a new one. Drip. The sound of water drips from the sink in the bathroom was stopping Flora from sleeping. 小蝴蝶。Mm. Densely. Populated. Surreal. Concrete.
以上节目是由活用空中美语制作，活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。